All right, here's a billion dollar question, which I'm going to ask you, and I want you to be very honest, and I want you to comment down below. And the question is, will AI, artificial intelligence, replace me, my work, my services? Okay, I'm into personal branding. Will AI, artificial intelligence, replace my work? Okay, so feel free, comment down below openly, just state openly, yes or no or whatever. Okay, and after you're finished, then continue watching because I want your opinion before and I want you to give me your opinion after I've made the video. Okay, so comment down below now, will AI replace me? Me, why my zero, my, my services, whatever. Okay, now why did I bring up this topic? Well, actually I just finished having a conversation with one of my old time clients. He has been my client for uh, 10 plus years, uh, 11 years, uh, at the age of 36, I'm 47, so 11 years. And I've seen, he and I have seen each other going up and down and we have seen each other, we have been clients, we have been friends, we have kept in touch ever since. I've seen his ups and downs and uh, he is an incredible human being, someone I deeply respect and I think it's mutual. Okay, so we were just talking and um, you know I was asking him, okay, what do you think of this market? What do you think of this career? What do you think of this these people? And then we were asking of common friends and all that or common clients that he and I know. Finally, I asked him, okay, give me your prediction about me. Give me a prediction about me. Uh, how do you think my future is going to be? And very honestly, he, he was very honest. Uh, I, I said, don't be polite. He said, I predict uh, you'll make money for the next, say, 10 years or so. Okay, 10 years, fine. And after that, after 10 years, one second, uh, let me just mute this. I'm getting too many messages. Okay. Uh. So after 10 years, he said, AI will take over you. Uh, I said, okay, fine. Um, you know, I have to respond to it because I don't want to just keep quiet. So he said, uh, if you don't evolve, you don't change, AI will replace you. And I'll tell you right off the bat, he is a hundred percent right. If I don't evolve, if I don't change, if anybody, we all will get replaced, me included. Okay. So then I said, uh, since you brought up AI, can I give you my thoughts? He said, yes. I said, okay. Number one, can AI replace workers in a factory? He said, yes, 100%. I said, you're right. Can AI replace engineers? He said, 100%. Can AI replace programmers, computer guys? 100%. Then I asked him, can AI replace doctors? He said, no. Can AI replace entertainers? Yes. Artist, yes. Okay. So either he gave me a yes or no. Fine. Then I asked him, uh, oh, sorry, before before I asked him this, he said, Loy, you know, why I said about your work, maybe because he thought I felt bad. He said, today, a resume, I can just type on AI or chat GPT or something, I'll get a full resume. I said, okay. He said, uh, interview skills, I can put uh, the questions, I'll get all the answers. I said, Absolutely right, 100%. Okay. In fact, I told him, go to LinkedIn, go to Facebook, go to Instagram, go to YouTube. They actually give you the tutorial of how to create a resume for the position you're applying. And I'll give you the answer right now. Copy paste the job description. Copy paste the job description. Copy paste your CV. Put both of them into AI or chat GPT or any software. And voila, the AI will merge the job description and the resume with your experience, merge both of them together, use the right keywords, right, uh, you know, the API tracking, whatever. And it will give a custom made resume that fits the job profile that will ensure that you get shortlisted. Okay. Now, this is the part which they actually tell you, they tell you how to beat the system. So now, here's the question that you need to ask yourself. If a video that comes out says, copy the job description, copy, the, copy your CV, put it into AI, it'll merge together and come out with the 
perfect uh you know resume proper words proper keywords proper description proper if 100 candidates do that 100 candidates who will get shortlisted is my question to you you understood what i'm saying ai chat gpt is a free software everybody knows it right so if everybody knows it and if everyone's using it i'll tell you a college student knows it school going student knows it everybody knows this so if everyone uses chat gpt open ai ai software and all of them copy the job description all of them copy the resume and all of them put it together and get the perfect cv then the question is who gets called for the interview first question second one let's say you put your questions and answers into chat gpt open ai and the software and you ask interview questions tell me something about yourself or what are your strengths what are your weaknesses and you copy your resume and say please structure and give me the perfect response and you memorize these lines out and about you go for the interview obviously they can't take 100 candidates they'll choose the 10 let's say you made it a top 10 and let's say from the top 10 you are called for the interview and you give a fantastic answer absolutely mind boggling perfect resume is perfect the answer was perfect now my question is can you deliver see convincing someone your god's gift to mankind that you are the eighth wonder of the world that you are the number one anyone can do can you deliver it is like uh, you know chat gpt open ai the software reminds me of instagram tinder facebook where you can use a filter to make your eyes bigger uh, you look very cute your skin smooth uh, amazing words to describe yourself you look so perfect you look like the ideal man the ideal woman that any guy or girl will go crazy for in fact people nowadays use surgery to make their nose perfect their skin perfect i when i go to the fish and vegetable market i'm telling you i see girls they look like dolls they don't look like normal females they look like dolls i just saw one i i'm, I'm not lying saw one just now just now i went to the market and she had big eyes she looked like a k-pop star she had big eyes she had the most gorgeous looking skin she looked like a k-pop doll okay and i couldn't help but look at her and she had a belly button piercing and she looked hot and then as i was just looking you know i can't help it i was looking then she went and sat on a scooter the scooter which she sat on was so dilapidated and so broken i was like what the hell is that like she looks like a doll but she's driving the same obviously i realized she is from a very poor this thing and lo and behold then her brother or boyfriend or some guy came he looked oh my goodness he looked hideous he had a torn this thing he had cement he had uh, his trouser i don't know what the hell was he wearing you know you normally have lines for a trouser his his trouser had a complete hole i could see his knee his thigh everything and he he didn't comb his he looked like like what the hell like a you know a truck ran over a cat and the cat is squished on the road he looked like that so i looked at this girl this girl looked like a k-pop star a brother or a boyfriend whatever he looked like i don't know what the scooter definitely proved the fact that they were from very poor background and they drove off and i was like stunned i was like you know, you know because when you see such a beautiful girl you think like she must be driving maybe a audi or a maserati or something and okay what am i trying to say see you can put all this makeup and this facade and this filters and the surgery and you can have an amazing profile online you can look like god's gift to mankind agreed technology will allow you but can you manufacture 
your character? Can you manufacture your work, your ethics? And for those of you who are saying that it will replace, AI will replace human beings, my simple question to you is, if tomorrow you're going for a life-altering surgery, open-heart surgery, would you want AI to operate on you or would you want a human being? If your daughter or your son is going to go under the knife, would you want a robot to operate on them or would you prefer a human being operating on them? When Simple one, let's not go so extreme. When you call a bank or you call the airline or you call customer service, do you want, thank you for calling so-and-so. Um, press one if you want this, press two if you want that, press three if you, do you want an auto automated voice, AI automated voice, or do you want to talk to a human being who says, hey, hi, how are you? Uh, this is, you know, uh, Max here, can I help you? Do you want a human being or do you want AI? I'm asking about you. You want a human being, right? When you go to McDonald's, do you want just the screen or do you prefer dealing with a human being? Yeah, if there's a big line, you prefer the screen if there's a discount. But otherwise, do you prefer a human being? I don't know about you. I prefer a human being. Because if I want something extra, can you put some sauce? Uh, salt, just put it a little less. My daughter doesn't like. Or uh, do you have a free toy or something that my daughter can have? Human being, I can't talk to a machine, I can't talk to a screen. Yeah, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just t -t 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 press, oh, fine. Automated banking, fine. But in most other things, I want to talk to a human being. When I have a problem, I want to talk to a human being. When I have customer service issues, I want a human being. When, if I'm going to get my profile done, my resume done, my profile, why should I pay an AI money when I can get it for free. So if I get it for free, do you think I'm the only one who's using the free or do you think many people are using the free? See, if you're talking of day-to-day -day stuff like uh, factory workers, like in the 80s, we had no factory production, all human beings were doing, but now all machines are doing that. So did people get replaced? 100%. When the computer came, did it replace uh, tellers and clerks and people who are manually doing? 100% yes. Did uh, mass production get replaced by robots and AI? 100% yes. But then the question is, do people still have jobs? You need people to operate these machines, right? Right or wrong? You need people to operate these machines. Have you seen any factory in this world where there's no human being. It's only robots operating with robots. Have you ever seen? You need a human element, my dear. Even today, computers, even computers, you need a human being to operate all that because the day AI takes over all human beings, you wouldn't need a human being. Have you ever thought about it? The day AI becomes super intelligent, just like, you know, you've seen the movie Prometheus, the robots and the AI will ask, why do we need human beings? They grow old, they die, they feel hunger, they feel pain. We don't need maintenance. Let's get rid of them. But for that to happen, we'll take around 10 generations or 5 generations, not in our generation. See, I'll, I'll tell you this much. The people who want an AI-generated resume, the people who want an AI-generated profile, the people who want a stock AI-generated coaching or interview responses, they are not my clients. The people who want something for free will never pay money. They will always want free. Like the people who go to YouTube to learn, they want for free. Today, how many channels are there that give you education. But have colleges been replaced? Simple question. Education is available online, right? All the content that you're studying in college is available online, right? Why are people still going to colleges? Why? Why can't they just sit at home and memorize everything that is online? Why do you think people, why do you think there are still degrees? Why people are not coming? If you ask them a question, wait, 
Uh, the answer is so and so. Why? Why do they want you to learn something? Why isn't AI replacing the teachers? Why do parents want the child to learn under a human being? There are things which AI will replace. That much I'll give it to you. Factory workers, mass production. But ones that do not need human creativity, that do not need a human touch, that do not, do not need human excellence. Like an athlete will always want a human coach. A top-notch performer will always want a human person teaching them. Someone who takes their brand very seriously wants a human being, not a machine. Because there are certain things a machine cannot do. It cannot feel like a human being. It cannot teach you like a human being. It cannot mentor you like a human being. I mean, if that was the case, why do we have human beings as a referee in a football match, in a boxing match? Why don't they just have AI robots? Tell me. Why is a painting done by a human being have more value than just a AI computer generated uh, you know painting? Tell me, which one pays more money? A human being drawing and painting or a machine? Which one will you pay more money? If you knew that a computer, I can just type in something and it will give you a beautiful painted uh, painting, perfect painting. Will you buy that? Or will you say, yes, videos are come out. It looks very realistic. Yes, YouTube. Uh, there are, we see this after. Hello, how are you? This is the new video. You, you see them, you know, just like frozen. Yes, it will improve. But would you want to listen to a news or an AI generated human individual? Or would you rather listen to a human being? I, me, I don't know about you. If someone is cooking, I prefer a human being cooking that food. If someone gives me a painting and I wear to buy, I prefer a human being. If I were to speak to customer service, I prefer a human being than a robot. If someone were to operate on my child or on my body, I want a human being. So if there are certain things, I prefer a human being. Maybe, say, cleaning. Let's say scrubbing the floor or painting. Uh, you can have a machine that can do it. Fine. Those are low skill. High skill, critical stuff, important stuff. I don't want free. I don't want an AI to do it. I don't want a robot. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. If your brand, if your value, if your profile is worth a free job, Good for you. But I can tell you this much. A cheap Charlie will never be my client. A cheap Charlie would always want cheap, free and best. But someone who values their work, for whom their work is like their signature, where they take pride in it. That is why none of my articles, none of my videos, none of my work that I do, well, grammar, spell check, fine. But that will be my customization because the day I give this expertise to AI, my skills will deteriorate. It's like muscles. You don't use your muscles, it will deteriorate. You'll become weak. And then, yes, you will be replaced. All right. For those of you who are still convinced that AI will replace me or, you know, my services, let me ask you a few simple questions. Number one. If you had to watch a video between a real human being speaking, whether it's news or entertainment or comedy or even a movie, would you prefer a real human being there or would you prefer an AI generated image or a video? First question. Okay. Even news. Would you prefer a AI generated image like this or would you prefer a real person? That's one. Number two, when you go for entertainment, restaurant, or when you're going to, uh, you know, nightclub with the DJ, would you prefer a computer generated DJ? Would you prefer a computer taking your order? Would you prefer, uh, let's say, a movie with all AI generated stuff? Or would you prefer real human beings, a real DJ, a real waiter, waiter or waitress taking your order? Okay, next one. 
restaurant, do you prefer a real human being, right? What about doctor? Do you prefer a AI generated robot there? Or would you prefer a real doctor? In fact, when you're having an operation, open heart surgery or something, would you prefer AI or robot or real human being? Or let's say, forget so extreme. If you had a problem, let's say a stitch, would you prefer a robot doing the stitches or a human being? Even taking your blood, would you prefer a real nurse or a robot AI? Okay, next one. What about your children? You want a real teacher to teach your children or do you prefer a robot AI teaching your children? Tell me, how comfortable are you? In fact, you who are talking about AI, how comfortable are you, your children looking at a smart device and taking all lessons from there? Why are parents today saying, no, stop this iPad, stop this AI, go outside, be with nature, speak to people naturally? Why? Then, let's say a simple, uh, something as simple as you go to a bank, you have a problem with your account, or you want a transaction. Would you prefer a robot, a touch screen, or would you prefer speaking to a person and explaining what your problem is? In fact, uh, when you take medicines, do you prefer AI generated uh, reports or would you prefer a real person telling you, listen, take this medicine for this, that, whatever. Okay, let's look at the most important thing. You're saying AI will replace me and I'm into personal branding. If uh, you're a boss in a corporate environment, would you prefer someone gives you a resume that is AI generated or an authentic one? Would you prefer AI generated uh, responses memorized on an authentic one? In fact, would you prefer AI, AI boss or robotic boss or would you prefer real human being? When you have mental problems, emotional problems, financial problems, do you want to talk to a human being or do you prefer a robot AI? AI psychologist. I have mental issues. I have emotional issues. I want to talk to a robot. Tell me. In fact, why are we so particular about spending quality time with the family, having human interaction? Why today, why uh, Mark Zuckerberg's virtual reality world is not working out? Why uh, Apple's you know, AI generated is not working out, putting that thing on the head? Why do we want human interactions? Why is there more money charged for a human artistic drawing a human creation rather than a computer generated drawing, computer generated painting, computer generated something. Why there's more value for human interaction, human creativity, human emotions? Tell me. In fact, here's a very simple question. Um, would you want to be replaced by AI? Your answer would be no. Would you want your child's upbringing to be done by AI? Your answer would be no. Your spouse, your family, no. Then if you don't want all that to be taken over by AI or to be guided by AI, you don't want to interact with AI, you don't want to give anything important to AI, then what sense does it make you saying that, oh, you'll be replaced by AI? In fact, let me ask you, what about you? If your job is going to be replaced by AI, say something as simple as letter writing, email writing, programming, if it's going to be replaced by AI, you're just going to sit down, eh, yeah, that's it, oh, I got replaced. Or are you going to figure out a way to use AI to make your work even better? Like all those people who got replaced in the factory production unit, uh, you think they just sat down, oh, I got replaced by machines, that's okay. Or did they figure out a new skill? to use this machine, to use this technology, to enhance your skills so that now they are employed in a new position. So if you will make sure that your job, your brand, your usefulness uses technology to enhance your value, you think I'm sitting down here hatching eggs or what? Hmm? But one thing I can assure you, challenge you, the people who approach me with emotional problems, mental issues, uh, career guidance, something that is important to them, they will never choose something that is for free. They will never choose something that is AI generated. And people who respect and value themselves, they are not cheap Charlies. The cheap Charlies who like for free, they are a dime a dozen. 
and they will never be my client. But those who value themselves with what is important, they will come to me. So bottom line, what I want to tell you is, just like the, in the 80s, when you had the computer revolution and one computer was doing the work of 10 people, 20, 100, 1,000 people, the computational power of a computer today can do the job of 1,000 people. But does that mean human beings have been replaced? No. That skill of calculating, that skill was replaced. But not human beings. You cannot replace a human being. And if you're talking of creativity, artistic work, and a touch of this, you know, a human touch. We have still, still ages away from when an AI will, when people will be comfortable that an AI operates on your body or your child's body. We're very far off. We're very far off where we as human beings will be comfortable dealing with a machine or AI and not another human being. And we are very far away from the day that AI can replace a human being. Because the day that happens, the day AI or robots take over human beings, they will eliminate all human beings. There, is, there will be no need to have a human being. Because a human being needs love, affection, has needs, will grow old, will become weak and die. But an AI-operated robot can take care of another AI-operated robot, just needs parts. So maybe then it'll become like Skynet. Maybe it'll become like Prometheus, you know. But that is not going to happen in this generation. But I'll tell you this much, this is the concluding bit. Decision makers, HR professionals, directors, um, businessmen, Maybe they got fooled once, but they're not going to get fooled again. That is why today the decision makers, HR people, all the professionals, if you send them a beautiful CV, beautiful, perfect, amazing answers you give, they will call you face to face. Face to face, they'll call you or on Zoom and they'll talk to you. Okay, you're good. They'll ask you questions. They'll ask you questions which maybe you have never thought about. And that is where it will determine whether you have what it takes or not. And then if you cross that, then they'll say, show me the work. Do it and show me. And that what you'll do. Which AI is going to do the job for you? You have to do it with your own hands. No? When I speak to customers face to face, no AI, no chat GPT, no software will do my job. And that is why I charge a premium. And that is why AI is for free. Anyway, you let me know your thoughts. If you feel AI is going to replace me, will AI replace you? Then what will you do is my question to you. Sit down, do nothing or think of ways to survive. If you're going to think of ways to survive and thrive to take care of yourself and your family, you think I'm going to sit down and hatch eggs? Boss, I've taken more risks than you. I've done more things than you. I've failed more times than you. It's not me you should be worried about. Should be worried about you. And like I said, let's forget the AI. Let's be more concerned about the competitors who are coming up, the younger generation, because they'll have not only the same skills we have, but even more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. I'd love to hear what you have to say. You guys take care and uh, let's keep the debate going. Will AI replace us human beings? Let me know down below. Take care.